Hello everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews and welcome back to Salon Privé. Today it's Club Trophy Day. We're here today, this is the Ferrari parking area. Ferrari has pride of place today. Um, there's um, a bit of a consensus of opinion whether or not Ferrari actually pay for this slot or whether they're actually provisioned it because they're the Ferrari brand. But either way, they get pride of place at Salon Privé on club day. So we're going to take you for a walk around the car park. We'll show you some of the cars here. We've got a very eclectic mix of cars. We've got 360s, 430s, 458s, 246 GT Dinos, all different variations of Mark 512s, etc., etc. So we're not, going to we're not going to talk to you through all the cars here in the car park. We'll just show you a few of them and then we'll walk through and we'll go into the actual Salon Privé main area event and then we'll talk for you through some of the cars that are actually there that probably differ from the actual cars that are there on Wednesday. So just coming along some of the cars here and see it is a, a bit of a 458 fashion show here. We've got 458 Italia, actually 458 Spider. So we've got a 458 Spider here, 458 Italia. And then we've got this superb 458 Spider. You may recognize it, it's mine. <laughs> it's obviously a highly spec 458 Spider on my car. Um, all of you are aware of the specification of my, of my car. If you want to see more about that, then please check the videos below. You'll see um, when I walk around and detail the actual options list for my 458 Spider. And if we take a little bit of a look around this 458 Italia, we're, we're speaking to the gentleman who owns this car earlier today. This is a highly spec 458 Italia. And you see it's got the side, side um, skirts in matte black, which was actually one of the options lists. When it's, which was one of the options on the options list. Come around to the back, it's got the carbon fiber on the, on the, on the rear, which used to be the challenge grill on the earlier cars and used to be called the challenge grill. And here you can see a really good example of what Ferrari called the sports exhaust, which in effect is just colored tips. Contemplating getting that done on mine at some point. And inside, so you've obviously you've got um, diamond cut wheels, uh, forged diamond cut wheels or if these are shields etc etc um, standard sort of specification if we look inside quite a quite, quite a rare option on the actual carbon racing seats he's actually got Alcantara center sections on his racing seats very nice beautiful spec and here we've got a, a 430 interesting number plate f4 red it's obviously Rosso Corsa with a crema interior nice accents on the red with the red piping around the seats this is actually a single single clutch automated gearbox. So here we have the car that hopefully I'm going to move into after the 458 Spider. It's my dream anyway. Um, obviously funds specifics, fun, obviously funds dependent, but this is actually a 458 Speciale. And this is um, pretty much the specification that I would like to achieve, that I'd like to buy. It's got the center nut stripe, although it's not got the full rear um, end flowing over the actual rear wing section, although it isn't properly a rear wing. Um, you've got the gold wheels, which is a common option with the actual Rosso Corsa um, bodywork colour. The carbon fibre aero sections on the sills. And on the inside, you've got the Alcantara side strips actually on the racing seats here. And the centre section, obviously the options buttons on the centre section. And this 458 Speciale is actually owned by the person who bought my 993S. So specification of specification of his car is pretty much the specification that I would like to achieve you've got the carbon fiber lower front splitter sections obviously you've got um, or aero here automated aero here that opens up at certain speeds to actually allow airflow to go underneath the car which adds downforce as a 458 spider just starting up in the background and if you come around here you've got the actual cooling fins that, su that supply cooling air to the brakes and actually reduces the actual lift side so it's part of the aeros um, configuration of the car as well this is all in carbon fiber and alcantara on the actual dashboard as well i think that's pretty much standard spec for a for a 458 speciale but beautiful yellow stitching around the the dash just another yellow accents and here we've got an 812 gts um, dark blue not too sure of the actual color uh, proper color proper i'm not too sure of the actual name proper name for this color um, here you've got the painted shields as well which is um, beautifully done 
trouble with painted shields is if you have an accident and you damage that wing you've got to send the car back to Italy to have to, actually, to actually have the shields recreated so with regards to the interior of this of this 812 you've actually got a um, Coelho interior and you've got um, blue accents on the on the obviously on the dash and on the steering one actually that works very well the the interior with the with the exterior color the interior blue I think aligns very very well with the exterior color it's a very good match so this has been very eloquently um, spec'd out a lovely specification and of course next to the 812 we have a challenge stradale 360 challenge stradale um, sam from seen through glass favorite car incidentally we've just met sam from seen through glass he was here earlier so we had a little bit of a chat with him um, but uh, this is his favorite car challenge stradale it's um it's got the center stripe with obviously the the tricolor of the of the italian flag running down the center rosso corsa challenge grill as you expect it's a challenge stradale why wouldn't it have the challenge grill and uh carbon fiber interior all the usual specifications it's got the um the full harness there as we know that can be a bit of a pain in the backside and the full harness to uh, to retain the occupants and it's got a few accents you can't probably can't pick it up on camera but it's got a few accents to of ppf to protect certain areas on the car uh, but i don't think it's got full ppf coverage by the look of it and a few little scuffs around the car but that's you know they're not new cars so obviously that's going to be the way how um these things are going to occur interesting car here we've got black with like a sand colored um interior this is a 458 uh, this is a 458 spider so, so we've got black 458 spider with like a sand colored interior with black stripe down the center of the seats interesting uh, interior not my cup of tea to be honest i like the black um, but the trouble with black is it doesn't really show the lines off very well of the uh, of the 458 and if we move across here we've got the we've got the 348 gt competition which is uh, quite a rare 348 if you're going to have a 348 then i think this is a specification to have on this 348 gt competition these are very very rare um, you, it doesn't show up very well on camera, um, but this has got the actual rare bucket seats, come fiber bucket seats with a full red interior. Um, the Sabelt full harness interior, and obviously it's a manual, so you've got the full gated shift. Lovely car. If you're going to get a 348, this is the one to have. Interestingly, that the, um, I don't know whether this is how it was done originally, but the actual shields, they look like they're factory fit, but they haven't got the indentation that you'd have um, with the modern, more modern Ferraris. Um, they're inset into the wing on modern Ferraris, so it isn't on that for some reason, which is, uh, which is interesting. And here we've got a, uh, an F355. And now this is, this is actually a manual 355, so this is, the, this is the specification of 355 to have. Interesting wheels, very nice wheels, um, showing the accents, showing the colouring of the car very well. The only thing I, I take umbrage with on this car is it's slammed on the suspension. It's got air suspension on it, so when they're parked up, they obviously look really slammed. Um, not something that I would do to a Ferrari, put air suspension on it, but um, but there you go. I'm sure it looks fine when it's um, when it started and the actual suspension raises up. But it looks like in really good condition. So here we have a Rosso Corsa SF90. Now look at the specification of this car. Center, center stripe in silver. Obviously it's Rosso Corsa. Carbon absolutely everywhere. Whole rear diffuser in carbon. The rear wing section in carbon, obviously it's got active aero on the actual center part of the wing. And this, this SF90 obviously has the Assetto Ferrari pack. So um, it's carbon fiber on the, on the fin section, you've got carbon fiber on the actual door mirrors as well, carbon fiber wheels of course, carbon fiber front splitter, and uh, the Assetto Ferrari stripe of course from the, from the center part, from the front of the car down the center of the vehicle. So here we've got a pearlescent white, um ferrari 458 spider and another sf90 again with the assetto ferriano pack okay so here we've got a beautiful car this is the 246 gt i should really gen up on <laughs> on these colors but obviously this is yellow it looks like it's been renovated beautiful specification beautiful color spec usually when you have these vibrant colors you then have black Nero interior which is what this car's got obviously manual gated gearbox they didn't have automated uh, sequential clutches at the time and this is um, one of the earlier cars so it hasn't got the perspex covering on the headlights and of course being a being a Dino brand no Ferrari badging on this it was only the later models of Dino that actually brought into the Ferrari branding 
and this obviously has the V6 engine. So as you can see, we've got a, a whole range of uh, other cars here. We can't go for every single car, um, but we'll, we'll pick it up inside and we'll take you around some, some more of the cars, hopefully some of the cars um, that have been positioned here differently than they were on Wednesday for the first day when we were here. So we're back at Salon Privé, we're back in the centre display section. You can see pretty much all the same cars are here that were here before. We've got the F40, we've got the Zonda, um, the, the McLaren F1, the Huayra, the 300 SL, etc. So one of the cars that was here on Wednesday that we actually missed off, sacrilege though it may be, is arguably the most historically significant Ferrari on this planet and that is the 166mm Barchetta. Now it was nicknamed the Barchetta. Barchetta means little boat because it looks like a little boat in its design. This is actually chassis number eight, which is very, very rare. Numbers one to seven, it's believed, do not exist anymore. So this is the oldest living Ferrari that exists on this planet. This is insured, we believe at the moment, for 250 million. Now, the 166mm was based on the 166S. The 166S won the Mille Mille, and the 166mm naming convention came from the fact that the, one, the previous model, the 166S, won the Mille Mille, so they, so they named it the 166mm. Now this car then went on to win the Mille Mille and the Le Mans in the same year. That is the, this is the only Ferrari to ever achieve that accolade. So here at Kimura Cars, um, and this is a very, very rare Lancia. This is called the Lancia 037. Only 37 of these cars are ever going to be made and are going to be costing around £414,000. So it's a very rare Lancia. So we're here at the McLaren stand and here we have the, the McLaren Artura. Currently the specification is matte black with a charcoal interior. You can see it's got Alcantara in the central center parts of the seats and lever on, on the external parts of the seats, on the race seats. Okay. See the carbon tub and you can see here how they've changed the configuration of the carbon tub with the actual front leading section of the carbon tub lowered so it's easier to get the legs in and out. So it's easier to get your legs in and out of the vehicle. So this is different to the earlier McLarens. So on the other side of the McLaren stand, we have the McLaren GT in orange, black accents on the door mirrors and on the side skirts, almost piano black. Well, it is pretty much piano black on side skirts and the door mirrors and piano black accents on the interior of the car, black near interior. And moving across here, we also have the 765 LT. Now this is the, the latest and successor to the 720S. One of the fantastic things about Salon Privé is the setting, Blenheim Palace. Beautiful old building, glorious setting for such an event. And as, as you can see here, this is a good vantage point to see. Um, the pretty much shows you the encompassment of Salon Privé. It's not actually that large. You've got the main section where the actual judging uh, took place in front of directly in front of the actual palace, and then it runs as a perimeter with with um, some of the stalls, well, you can't really call them stalls, but some of the, the awnings and the actual marquees in the, in the center section. And you've got the actual exterior and the circumference of that center section encompassed with these special, very high profile, very high value cars. Whether it be Rolls Royces, Aston Martins, um, Ford GTs, GT40s, you know, as, as, we, as we move further down here, you can see you've got a company called High Tone. Um, this company, say for example, um, they've been restoring this DB6. This DB6 was stored in somebody's garage in bits and they were provisioned all the bits to, to provide a full restoration. And now, you know, this company is now restoring this DB6, uh, full nut and bolt restoration. We stood in the front of the of Blenheim Palace and here we got on display the Ferrari F40 and the actual, one of the winners of the 
and one of the winners of the actual Salon Privé Concours events here, which um, it's the Classics of the Future winner, which is the XJ220. So we're going to close out the video here. We've tried to pick up the cars that we didn't pick up on Wednesday and obviously most of the cars that we picked up today are ones that actually weren't here on Wednesday. If you like what you've seen today then please give it a thumbs up um, and like the video. Plenty more great content to come. If you're not subscribed already then please think about subscribing. And so this is goodbye from Salon Privé 2021 and goodbye from Blenheim Palace. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.